Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the video, and today we're going to be checking out the Happy Model Snapper 7. And now this is a little micro brushless sort of whoop-like quad. You can see we do have the tiny, tiny brushless motors. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, oh, okay, these are 0703 19,000 kV motors. So this guy runs on 1S. Now I just get sort of a more regular whoop to compare it to. You can see it is just a little bit bigger here, but not by much. So it still is sort of the very small micro quad class. This model itself comes completely bind and fly. Um, I got the Free Sky edition. I believe there's also a Fly Sky and maybe a Spectrum one. And you just have to press the little button on the board and you can bind it to your Tyrannus or maybe an X Lite if you have one. The board itself is a flight controller and Form 1 ESC built in. Hopefully you can see all of that goodness. The motors just plug in, so if you do break one, you can still just unplug and plug. That's really nice. The frame itself is actually aluminum, which is a little bit heavier, but it should be a little stronger. However, if you see back here, um, it gets a little bit bent. If you do hit things hard enough, it can bend in, which is kind of annoying. The little VTX and camera all-in-one is sort of in this top canopy with the antenna sticking out. And obviously, as you can see, this is... Not the best mounting method in the back. It's I don't even know how you'd take this off. It's really weird, but you know it's it's a cheap quad and it kind of works. They do give you a spare set of props and screws, as well as the little tool to take the props off and some rubber bands for the battery. The charger it comes with is actually this little guy. This is actually pretty cool. It takes a XT60 in or just a regular barrel connector, yeah, 7 to 25 volts, and it outputs 5 volts for a USB if you want to charge your phone, and it gives you a little readout here, which if I plug it in, gives you the uh, output of each of the channels. There's six individual channels, and it obviously the voltage is going to read wrong if um, there's nothing plugged in, and it also tells you the voltage of the battery that you have plugged in. With the six individual charging ports, you do have a 0.2 amp if you go to the left and a 0.6 amp option if you go to the right, and then you have 4.2 volt charge and 4.35 volt charge, which is actually really cool to be able to set this on all individual channels. However, be warned, I had these set to the 4.35 and I tested them with a battery checker after I took them off, and one of them was at 4.45 volts. So I would just stick to the 4.2 volt setting because this thing doesn't seem the most accurate. Another awesome touch is that it does come with three batteries. Normally you don't see these quads coming with any batteries, let alone three, so these are just little 1S 450 milliamp happy model batteries that have been decently okay for me. I've been getting maybe about three minutes of flight time off them. Just real quick, the weight of the quad without the battery is 29.94 grams, and then if you add the battery on, we get up to 42.7 grams. So that was a real quick intro. Let's go into some flight footage. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy. Watch you bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both fly. You get to fly with me. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my life. Jaywalking, crosswalking, lip locking with you. Oh my baby, got me staring at you. So I'm crazy. Watch you bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both fly. You get to fly with me. I can take you down for a ride. I take you around my life. Jaywalking. 
crosswalk it, lip block it with you I know it, you know it, we make it So here we are back after that flight footage, and hopefully you could tell this thing actually does fly pretty decently well. It definitely does fly way better than these typical brushed whoops that I'm used to. However, I think it could still use better performance like the Beta, I think they're X75 quads. Those use plastic frames and are lighter, so definitely you can swap this frame out, this aluminum frame. Um, it's not really helping much, it's it's not much stronger, it's not going to crack like plastic, but as I mentioned, it can, um, if you hit stuff hard enough, bend in and stop the prop from turning. But for a cheap bind and fly, I don't didn't think it's too much of a problem, especially if you're a beginner, and it definitely has a decent bit of power when the battery is full. As mentioned earlier, I'm not a huge fan of their uh, sort of camera system up here. You can see it's pretty much floating, off balance. It's it's really cheaply made, and you could probably uh, design and 3D print a TPU, something much better and more stable. Um, however, I've just left it, and I haven't had any catastrophic failures with it. The VTX itself, I think it only outputs on 25 milliwatts. It's kind of hard to get in there and press the button. It's like it's inside the canopy right there. Hopefully you can see it. So I haven't. I put it on F2 and I've just left it there. And I've got okay VTX range. It hasn't been great, but to be fair, I've been flying it in a concrete and steel building, so the signal doesn't penetrate very far. And then the receiver antenna. It's just this little black wire sticking out the bottom. So it gets the job done. Not great. And the VTX, it does mention in the box, I can get a show here, that it is FCC compliant, so you can see those channels you are not able to access as they are technically illegal. So yeah, overall, not a bad quad, and I definitely do enjoy it. However, at the time of making this video, the Emacs Tiny Hawk just came out at only $100, and the performance looks quite compelling. So if you are considering getting this one, I would definitely check out the Tiny Hawk as well and compare the two before you make a purchase. But I'm definitely enjoying this one. I'm going to keep flying it indoors over the winter season. So as in the video, there will be links down in the description below if you're interested. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.